person, then the child will be too. Or if one parent is... Yo, Razor, the new Supers just got here. I'm so stoked to try them out. Only took a couple days to arrive, so I'm stoked about that. Shipping didn't take too long, but, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna check. What the? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call you back. What the heck? Where'd the other shoe go? Huh? Damn, it went into the kitchen. What the heck is going on around here? This is messed up. <sighs> What the heck? It's got a knife! Ah! 911, this is an emergency! What is your emergency, sir? I don't know, this is gonna sound crazy, but there's I have like a killer shoe on the loose. What brand of shoe? It's that new Supra Skytop 4 that just came out. Sir, these are killer shoes. There's been a recall and they're refusing to go back to the manufacturer. Ah, no. We have an APB out on them, sir. They are armed and dangerous. Oh, this one, it's got a knife. What do I do? Sir. Get into a room and lock the door. I have a car on the way. Okay, 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 th th thanks. Now the other shoe's on the loose. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I love you. I would never send you back. I don't care if there's a recall or not. I'd never send you back. I love you. This just in. Breaking news this evening. The Super Sky Top 4 Killer Shoes are still on the loose. They are now on the FBI 10 Most Wanted list. If you see them anywhere in your neighborhood, please call your local police department. Thank you, and we will return you now to your regular broadcasting. Driving me to the edge of danger I'm tired always messing me up Practice makes perfect chump Third eye on the prize and I ain't that far away I can see paradise Better roll the dice until Until my curtain call I know which road to travel Still I wanna take them all And hit the scenic route No doubt I do this all alone And I don't need a house anywhere I lay my hat is home Let me come slow This slow not drop I belong Yeah fly my way to Musk Get cracked in the toy car Let's blast away you virusa in a lyrical form Sit by the black and What's up, Shoe Fam? It's your homie Castor Troy. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make and even more fun to edit. <laughs> Just straight up ridiculous. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, as you know, this is the brand new Super Sky Top 4 that was just released over Black Friday. Uh, it went on sale at midnight and I hopped online, copped a pair right away. When I woke up in the morning, they were all sold out. So I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty hot seller for Supra. So initially, when this shoe was first announced, I was a little bit disappointed. I wasn't so much disappointed in the shoe itself because I think it's a great looking shoe and I thought it looked awesome in pictures at the time. The only disappointment that I had was that during the time that this was announced, Supra had also mentioned that they were going to be discontinuing the Sky Top 2s. So, as a lot of you cats out there feel the same way that I do, you know, we love the Sky Top 2s. And to see a shoe like that, an iconic shoe like that, be laid to rest uh, was a little disappointing. And um, 
So the only disappointment that I had about this shoe was that in the pictures, it didn't look like it was near as high as the Sky Top 2. It looked like it was about the same height as a Sky Top 1. So the good news is, in person, they actually look a lot higher than they do in pictures. I don't own a pair of Sky Top 1s, so I can't really do a height comparison with that. Uh, I don't own a pair of 1s just because I don't think they look that good on me. But uh, from what I can tell, they're def I think they're about the same height as a Sky Top 1, maybe maybe a little higher. They're probably about the same height as a Sky Top 1. I would say they're probably about an inch or two shorter than the Sky Top 2s in TK Societies, but in a later video in the future, I'll do a height comparison between these, the Sky 2s, the TK Societies, and maybe even some radii. So, uh, but that'll be a future video. I'm actually really digging these shoes. I'm digging them a lot more than I thought I would. They're a great looking shoe. Uh, they looked really good on feet, I think. I was really happy with the way they looked on feet, so that's a big plus. Uh, it's an all-black suede shoe, as you can see. Even the tongue is covered in suede. We got these, it looks like Supra went back to the, the wax laces, so that's really cool. And another good thing is, uh, the shoe itself, uh, it doesn't have a stash pocket, unfortunately, but the laces on the shoe aren't very long. They're actually really short laces so you can easily tie them in back of the tongue or just not tie them at all so that's a you know it's a decent trade-off i suppose uh, the inside here where the tongue is we have this uh, yeezy inspired neon red and also inside here i'm not sure if you can see or not i don't know if this is what it's called but it looks like there's a sock liner in there and uh, the sock liner is actually attached to the inside of the shoe which i'm assuming offers you know better support and stability uh, to your feet when you're out there skating, so so that's pretty good. Uh, on the bottom here, we got this icy clean clear sole, and on the heel here, which we will get into in the future of this video, <laughs> we have this Yeezy inspired uh, dinosaur skate lidge right there. And the shoe also comes with uh, these two little wraparound skate pads. I guess I don't know what they're really called, but I'll just call them skate pads. They, uh, they attach and unattach uh, on the back of the shoe here, just like this. And uh, the spikes right here, the spikes actually unscrew. And if you want to put them on your shoe or take them off your shoe, you just put them through the two holes that are on the shoe, and it's actually really easy to take on and off. You don't need a screwdriver or anything. You pretty much just uh, hold your hand tightly on the inside while you unscrew or screw the spike on. So uh, these are actually going to come in handy a lot for kids who are going to be skating in these because you're not going to be scuffing up your shoes, which is really good. So a lot of thought went in went into the shoe with that. You know, got to give Muska some props on that. I actually I heard that this is the only model of Skytop Four that's going to get these little wraparounds. So uh, if you guys got a pair of these, you might have the only ones. Uh, another cool little thing was on the inside of here, mine say 13, and uh, it says 13 to correspond with the size shoe that I have, which is a size 13. So, you know, if you guys have a size 10 or a 9 or 11, yours should correspond with the size of your shoe. One more thing I did want to mention about these shoes is the inside here, actually, you can see this from the heel to the tongue, there's like a big gap. It's about, I don't know, maybe 5 inch gap. It's like a big gap there which is great because no matter what kind of jeans you're wearing, if you're wearing skinny jeans, or if you're wearing some like baggy jeans, you could pretty easily stuff your jeans in here, which is awesome. So you can pretty much wear these like you would a sky top too. So I'm really digging that, really digging that. Now let's get into the hot topic about this shoe. There is no doubt this shoe was 110, 120, uh, three freaking a thousand percent inspired by the Nike Yeezy. There, there's no question about it. And personally, I don't have a problem with it at all. I think the Yeezy is a sweet looking shoe. And personally, I think this shoe looks better than the Yeezy. And it's a fraction of the price. Um, the Yeezys go for about, I mean, if you can find a pair of Yeezys online, they go anywhere from 1500 to three to four to 5,000 bucks, which is just totally ridiculous, you know, nobody needs to be spending that kind of money for a pair of shoes, never, that's just ridiculous. So if y'all want to call this a poor man's easy, that's fine, I'll take that any day. Uh, the shoe itself, it actually, it retails for 175 which for a pair of Supras, 
That's really expensive. I'm not happy with the price tag on these shoes at all. 175 is pretty steep. And uh, the Skytop 2s usually ran about 130, 140, and the TK Societies run about 130, 140. So for this shoe to come out and it comes out at 175, which is a good, you know, 25, 35 bucks more than, uh, you know, Super's most expensive shoes, uh, that's, that's a little steep, I think, you know? You know, 175 is a lot, so I'm hoping uh, in the future they drop the price a little bit. You know, it's, it's pretty unlikely, but, you know, 175 is a little steep. That's about all I got for you guys today on these brand new Skytop 4s. Uh, the next ones that are coming out on Christmas Eve, I believe, are the all red ones. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing what they look like. I'm digging these shoes. The more I look at them and the more I wear them, I'm actually really liking them. I'm going to try and get a Supra collection video out to you guys one of these days, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, as you guys can tell, I don't like to do things halfway. I like to give you guys high production value videos, so I gotta think of something like freaking off the planet on the collection video. So the mind's working. It's gonna come together one of these days soon, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, just uh, hit me up in a comment or find me on Facebook. We'll chat it up. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.